a uh, fun thing you can do with Cincinnati fossils is you can collect your fossils, put them on display, you can put them around your yard, you can also put them in flower pots, and you can take your fossil seashells, this is one of the most common of all, Platystropia, and they make great uh, additions to uh, your aquarium. Okay, now all those little seashells are at the bottom of the aquarium. It's nice uh, decorations. Red roses too. Me and you think to myself, what a wonderful world. These are fancy gubbies, and fancy gubbies are just beautiful. Um, very easy to keep. They do not have uh, difficult requirements for the pH level. This is Amazon Swordtails. They grow like crazy. This one plant has produced uh, a few others. And I took out three to put in the other aquarium. And to be honest, I have an overcrowded aquarium, but if you take care of it, change out half the water every week, which isn't that hard to do, or maybe every other week, you, uh, It'll be okay. I see babies cry. Much more than to myself. What a wonderful world. Wish upon a star. Okay, so I put in my fossilized brachiopods, the fossilized seashells, with a wooden dowel rod. I'm now going to uh, flip some of them over into the lifelike position. This will make it look even a little more convincing, more, a little more lifelike. In other words, I can control how they appear and uh, make them look slightly more realistic. And it's kind of neat to think that they've been in the ground for 450 million years old, and now they get the chance to uh, echo their lifelike uh, positions again. Got a lot of anyway. So now you can see the, uh, the seashells in the bottom of my aquarium, and they are totally benign. They will not hurt the water or the fish. Matter of fact, I've even read that these limestone uh, fossils can actually, if the water's too acidic, they can dissolve a little bit and it'll be beneficial for the fish. Most minerals are stable, but limestone can dissolve a little bit if it's slightly acidic. See this big one here, I'm going to turn it around. That's a nice one to show off. It looks good from the side too. It's best foot forward. That's not bad. That's cool looking. Uh, again, there's 35 different uh, fossil 
seashell species found in Cincinnati. This one's called Platystrophia. And there's a few different types of Platystrophia. There's Ponderosa, which is the very largest the size of golf balls. There's several uh, much smaller ones, too. Anyway, so it's a nice uh, decorative element to uh, aquariums. These things cost about 50 cents a piece when you buy them at uh, some of the fossil shows. They're extremely abundant, so they're not expensive. At least that's what I've seen here locally. I don't know what it would be like for people out of town, but um, if they look around, they might be able to find some. Very peaceful and soothing. Uh, they say that it's good to watch people that watch fish in aquariums. It lowers their blood pressure more so than if they're just you know reading a book. I have a lot of debris in the water. My f I need to get my filter fixed. There's a lot of a lot of uh, things floating around in there. Don't write me asking to buy fossils from me because I don't I don't sell uh, fossils. Um, you can go online and do an engine search under uh, people who will. I have also seen uh, women's earrings made from uh, very small fossilized seashells. Native American Indians used to uh, wear trilobites around their neck as jewelry and uh, they thought it was like a magical amulet that would literally protect them from uh, white man's uh, bullets. So they thought it was like a good luck charm, which would grant them uh, invulnerability. The guppies that are predominantly plain are female, the ones that are very colorful are male. These females are a little bit atypical because they do have bright yellow and black spots on their tails if they're mature. 